All right, Jim Hudson here from SEMA 21. Let's show you how the TCX 635 is the fastest way to change over the road truck tires. I just basically push my beads off here. Even on this super single, uh, it works the same even on, uh, on 22.5s, 24.5s. Like I said, even these, these super single tires like this, uh, it just pushes those beads right off. Sometimes I need to make a little traction point here, which I can do. Just continue to roll it on off. We got a drop roller down here, so I don't have to reach down here and get that roller out of the way. I just press that pedal and get that roller out of the way. I can run my tire in. And it, on these wide tires, and even on standard width tires, I can push on that, that back bead. My outside bead, I'll bring my roller into position here. I have a quick mount bar here that I'm going to use to establish my traction here with that top bead, or that outside bead. And just like that, I've just basically pushed this big heavy super single tire um, on and off without breaking a sweat. Uh, and if I wanted to, uh, and Greg's going to talk about it in a moment here with force matching, I can use this machine to force match by bringing my tire down, pressing into the cradle here, and then spinning. I can spin that tire, or spin that wheel out there inside the tire to, uh, to force match here. But I'll, get, I'll hand it over to Greg here to talk about that and talk about the HD Elite Balancer. Thanks, Jim. Hi, everybody. I'm Greg Meyer. I'm the product manager for Wheel Balancers at Hunter Engineering. And this is the Heavy Duty Elite Balancer. So after you finish putting a tire on, obviously we're gonna to need to balance it, okay? So I'll go ahead and pull the hood down and let's see how this works. So this machine is a balancer, but it's also gonna measure run out as well. So when it comes to heavy duty balancers, or heavy duty assemblies, excuse me, balancing is important, but even more important is making sure run out is proper, making sure that the wheel is round and that it's of the right diameter. So right now, the machine has told me how much weight it needs. While I get my weights ready, it's measuring the run out of the assembly. When it's finished, it pulls the load roller away, servos the weights into position, shows me exactly where to place them with the laser. I put the weights on and I pull the hood down. Now, if I've done everything correctly, I'm gonna get okay, okay, and I'll be finished. But that's not the whole story. Now that I've measured run out and balance this assembly, I can take a look at matching duels. When you're talking about over the road trucks that use 22.5s like this, it's important that when you have a, a pair of wheels as assemblies together, that they have the same diameter and that the high spots are opposing. So we can do that with this machine. You'll see right here on the screen, it's telling me that this is 39.2 inches in diameter. But now let's say we had an issue. In this case, everything's okay. We have 33 thousandths of run out. That's pretty good for an assembly like this. But if there was a problem, I can go into the force matching screen and it's gonna show me exactly how to improve this assembly. It shows me, it's telling me to make a mark on the tire right here. And then I can servo the rim position into, in, into position here. And it's telling me to make a mark on the rim right here. And what I can do is take this assembly to Jim's tire changer turn it and we can get the run out down from 33 thousandths to 12 thousandths. Now in this case we probably wouldn't do that but if we were getting from 90 down to 70 or 50 thousand something like that that would be a worthwhile thing to do. As I mentioned before we could also take and mark this high spot this green mark right here is the high spot of the assembly I can bring that to 12 o'clock mark that so when I place it on the truck next to its other dual assembly we can make sure that those are opposite so that we get the best rolling assembly possible. Maximum tire life as well. So thanks a lot for watching our video and uh, we'll see you soon.